Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Right, this video is going to be my final rig making video guys, so don't worry about it. If you're sick of the rig making videos, don't worry, they're going to be over. This is the final one. Um, this rig was the one I was using in my previous video when I caught that little thorn back. I did say to you in that video, if anybody wants to know how to make this rig, let me know down in the comments and a good majority of people uh, that watched that video wanted to know how to make it. So we're going to make it today for you. Now the rig is called the monobar rig. There's uh, another name for it, but we can use like a metal rod instead of uh, instead of a mono uh, rig body. The, the original was made with a metal rod. But I'm not making that one, I'm making it out of mono because there's two versions of it. So I'm making the mono version. So I'm going to make that today. Uh, for the terminal tackle that you're going to need, I'm going to show you now uh, what you'll need. But you could also like change it here and there for what you prefer. So if you don't like to use Trident tackle, you could use Gemini's, whatever. You could use whatever you want, but make it work. You know what I mean? You'll, you'll understand when you're going along. But yeah. Uh, so you'll need the bait clip from Trident, you'll need two Termalinks from Trident, you'll need two small swivels, doesn't, doesn't matter really, then you'll need either some rig tubing or a spring, and then you'll need five beads, small ones, big ones, it really doesn't matter, and then you'll also need a crimp one that will fit the rig body of course that you're going to be using and you'll also need a cascade swivel okay cascade swivel basically a swivel with a hook on it like that all right they're the components you'll need and of course you'll need a lead to help you make it and you'll need your rig bodies and your hooks nodes so your line okay so we're going to get into it right now Okay, so for the rig body I'm going to use for this rig, I'm going to use 70 pound Asso Classic, okay? Right, the rig that I made in that, that I was using, sorry, in that video was quite a long one and I think it needed to be shortened a little bit. So that rig was arm's length and up to my left shoulder, okay? So it was quite a long rig. So I'm going to make this one, so I'm going to go to my armpit and then I'm going to go right to my end of my thumb, uh, end of my big finger, sorry. And we're going to cut it right there. So we're going to shorten it for what, like a foot long? We're going to sh shorten it a foot. Snip it there. And again, right, I'm just going to find my good scissors and I'll be right back. Got the scissors. Right, as you all know now, by now, when you're making your rigs, to make it a lot easier for your components to slide on your line, if you cut your, li your line on the tip with a nice sharp point on the end of it, makes it easier to put the components on, okay? So the first component you're gonna need, we're gonna start from the bottom of the rig, okay? First component you're gonna need is your term, your termalink. Slide that in the, in the, in the, in the, the hole that's on the, tra on the termalink, slide it right to the end and tie it right there, okay? Again, any knot you want, blood knot, tuck blood knot, uni knot, really doesn't matter, just tie it on, okay? And there you go once you've got that tied on that's the bottom of the rig so the next component you're going to need you're going to need your bait clip like that pull it out hook a lead on it push it back in click your termalink onto the bait clip so it locks the lead in so then it just makes it easier so when it's dangling like that you can start putting your components on okay so the first component you're going to need is a bead Got to stick a bead on so with that little um cut to an angle that you've done at the start on your line makes it easier to put the beads and the other components on like the crimps okay so the next component you're going to need is a swivel and then another bead Like so, and then you're going to need to put your crimp on. Like so. Then another bead. Then you're going to need to put your rig tubing on or your spring. Push that down. 
Then another bead. Then another swivel. Final bead. And then your last tourmalink. Or you could just use a swivel. It's entirely up to you. Because this is the top of the rig that's going to get joined to your main line. So you could use a swivel or you could use a tourmalink. But my, I'm using a tourmalink. And there you go guys, once you've got your, your tourmaline tied on, quit your tag end off. And then what you could do to, tie, to make it uh, stronger, you know, to pull it tight, you, know, you can either grab it with a pair of pliers, pull it really tight, or you could just clip a lead on, use a lead with a bit of grip, and then pull it to make it tight. And there you go. Can I hook that on there? No, I can't. Back in a second, I'm just going to get a bit of mono auto so, so I can hang it on there. There you go, sorted. So now I've got my rig hanging right there. So there's all the components that you should have on your rig body at the moment. So you've got your bait clip, your tourmalink, then you've got a bead, a swivel, a bead, a crimp, a bead, either your tubing or spring, another bead, another swivel, and another bead, and then your final tourmalink at the top, okay? That there is the rig body. 99% done. All you need to do now is where your crimp is, put it in your crimp tool or your pair of pliers, push it right to the top. So you've got your bead, a swivel, a bead, spring or tubing, and, a sp and another bead, and then your crimp at the top. And then you crimp it with a little tiny gap right at the top where your knot is and just crimp it there okay like so so then they will stay up there and then the the two beads and your swivel right here will remove freely up and down the rig body like so okay next component you'll need is your hook snood which i'm using 30 pound amnesia don't cut a length off just yet and tie it onto the, the free moving swivel that's on the big body. Not this one at the top, the one that's moving freely. Tie it on there, okay? Now once you've got that tied on there like that, you wanna hold it down at the bottom. I'm hoping you can see this. You can hold, hold this, the, the two beads and the swivel at the bottom, hold them down, and then pull some line off your spool and pull it up the rig, like so, to the top of where that swivel is at the top. Hold it there and cut it there. All right, so cut that there. And this is where you put your cascade swivel, okay? Now, the way you put it on first is with the hook pointing down and you've got the big eye at the top. You tie it onto the big eye first. And there you go. You've got your cascade swivel tied on. Now, you need to get the same line that you got from that, that you used here Put a bit off don't cut it off yet and tie it onto the other side of the cascade swivel like that all right tie it on there like so cut the tag end off and then you've got that okay now you get the hook on the cascade swivel and you hook it into the swivel that's at the top can't see there you go once that's hooked in like that you pull more line off your spool pull it down towards the bait clip and then you snip it there at the bait clip okay right there and then you put any hook of your choice i haven't got a hook out yet so i'll be back in two seconds right i've got myself my hooks i'm going to use a panel hook on this one i'm going to use uh, a little tiny chinu to put on first like so i like to, I like to wrap it around just so that i can give it you know so it's not in my way while i'm tying this one on 
the main one. So and the, and the main one I'm using the 3 0 Specimen X Cox and Roll. Tying that on. Once you've got to tie it on, cut the tag end off. And there you go. Now, this is where the, the, the rig is basically done now. So once once you've got it hooked right hanging on your on your main line, on your rod, and you're gonna rebait up, or if it's sitting there on your tripod and you're gonna rebait up, what you could do first, of course, stick your bait on, put a couple of worms on, whatever you want to use for your bait that day. Once you've got it ready, lock it into your bait clip, like so. That won't come out of there. And then what you need to do now is where your cascade swivel is run that back up towards the swivel and pin it right in there and there you go now the only loose line which is this one here is the one that you've tied onto the swivel right here that there you do not need to worry about that not being tight okay the one that you need to worry about being tight is the second bit of uh, hook length that you've tied on to the cascade swivel that look that locks into the bait clip at the bottom that's the one that you need to worry about this one i've been told you can put this this section of line at any length that you want but it's entirely up to you you know what i mean you could have it a lot longer than that you know what i mean because that that's just running through freely up the rig body so you don't need to worry about that all right but the purpose of this rig is acts like an up and over sort of just depends how you make it right so if it hits the water flicks off the cascade swivel jumps off the top and you've got yourself a long snood like so away from the lead all right so a fish picks it up it can either run away from you picks the lead up fills the weight hooks itself or it runs towards you hits the bead at the top and once it's done that that will give you either a slack line when it pulls the lead out and then also could also hook itself if you're using a grip lead that is you know it, it's and it, the thing with it with this rig is like with an up and over the up and over is attached to the main line the, the main rig body that's coming down here all right so then you you know it's a bit acts a bit differently but on this rig it runs up and down the rig body freely until it hits the point at the top or hits the point at the bottom so it's given the fish time to eat it before it feels any restriction you know what i mean so it's worth a try guys if you want to give it a go so there you go guys there's the mono bar rig if you've used this rig before let me know down in... okay <laughs> my nuts just come undone so there you go guys there's the mono bar rig if you've used this rig before in the past let me know what you've caught on it if you haven't used it before and you're considering to make it for yourself for the first time let also again let me know down in the comments um guys i think i think because the place this is the time of year now where the players are starting to come in i think this rig might be a good rig to give it enough you know, for, for place fishing because you've got that long flowing uh hook hook length in the tide you know what i mean so i'm going to definitely give it a go i'm going to downsize the hooks a little bit put a bit of billing on I think it'd be sorted so guys yeah um follow me on facebook on earl's fishing adventures follow me on instagram earl's fishing adventures and on twitter ef adventures okay and guys don't forget to like the video subscribe if you haven't ring that notification bell make sure you click on all notifications so you get updated anytime i upload a video or go live here on youtube and again thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time